Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a live classroom bulletin board that you can publish on the web, and you can edit it every morning and keep it up to date. And it works great. You can send the link out to kids and have them bookmark it, and every morning they come in and check your bulletin board for the agenda for today. It's fantastic. So um, here is my example. I kind of had my fun beanbag chair little uh, bitmoji and my title. So I the kids know me. I'm the Apple. I'm the iPad guy. I walk around with a, uh, an iPad grading, grading class craft and playing the game with them and teaching. Um, anyway, so I wanted mine to be on an iPad. So I kind of gave it this frame. So I have my little iPad with my bulletin board up and that's actually my agenda. And I can go in here and edit anything. So Mondays in my classroom are digital citizenship days. So they choose digital citizenship lessons to work on. Um, I can add in a YouTube video right here that they can actually click on and play. Um, for tomorrow, it's digital citizenship day though, so no video. I can also post outstanding projects. This is really um, cool. Now, these are not real kids projects because I didn't want to post anything on YouTube with that. So these are samples of mine but you can actually link them right here and the kids can come on here and click and look through the sample projects that you've got. Works great for them to keep up with things and to um, have something to look for as a guide. Whoops, and just kind of rearrange my bulletin board. My iPad width is bugging me. There's my problem. There we go. I just want that purple border. My favorite color is purple, if you can't tell. So I want that purple border to be on the inside of my iPad so it looks like a real iPad. Um, so over here on the right are all my useful links. So these are all um, picture items that I have with a link that go to these websites. So this goes to our BMS um, website. This goes to Classcraft. This is the actual September lunch menu for the kids. And every month I change that. And then this is my YouTube channel. We video their Gmail. This will take them to their Gmail. And then this takes them to my website where I have a lot of things linked. Um, so this is just really so easy to do. You set it up once at the beginning of the year and that's it. I mean, I don't edit any of this stuff except for what's right here in today's agenda. And, and I have it posted on my website. So I'm going to show you on my homepage. Here is my live bulletin board. And you see I deleted that video and it comes right off of this, this instantly. So it updates like as soon as you make changes, it automatically updates this. So the kids can go see and you can edit it two minutes before class starts or even during passing time or frantically while the kids are coming into the school. You can edit your agenda and two minutes later, it's on the board for them and they can see it updated. So it really works great. I love this idea. I'm not sure who gave me the idea in the first place, but I am so grateful for this. What a time saver. If you have um, do nows that you you uh, post at the beginning of every lesson. If you have um, anticipatory sets that you like to do or an activity you want to throw on there, if you have check-ins or questions or um, exit tickets, you can all, it's all easy. It goes right on this Google slide. You've got one slide to worry about. Now here's my, um, here's my bulletin board. And I had the second slide that I started working on and I just didn't like it. So you can see I have it programmed right now to be invisible. So the kids will never see this until I'm set with it and it's it's where I want it to be. I, I'm not happy with the size of the screen. I don't know. There's just some things. So um, all you do is, is right click on it and choose skip slide and the kids will never see it. And so this is set to automatically loop. So let me go real quick and show you the sharing settings. So you go to the publish to the web, file and publish to the web. And then I actually use the embed code on my website, but you can also link this in your Google Classroom or Gmail. You can throw it right on your Gmail. I don't know if anybody's using social media um, to post their stuff, but you can post it right here. You can also grab this link and email it out or post it on Classroom. And then you have some privacy settings right here that you can do. Um, I like to have mine restart the slideshow, but since it's only one slide, I don't need that for this setting. 
if I have a short slide so that I want to just keep playing, then I'll I'll choose to restart it. And I can choose to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads. So um, short and quick, but what a great idea this one is. Um, thanks to whoever gave it to me. All right, that is it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you get some good use out of a live bulletin board because it sure is a time saver. So thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.